You know, once I was seven and a boomerang hit me in the nose and uh, broke my nose in two. Can you believe that? My oh. nose was like moving around my face for about four weeks after that. Thinking of resurrecting it's... Pogo. What do you think? <laughs> just to wind Pogo up, just to see how long it would take to get Pogo annoyed. <laughs> I think what's, what's interesting is, you know, a lot of the, about 66, 67, the kind of, free love, Woodstock kind of vibe um, defined to some degree, I think, how we see the 60s when we look back, among a few other things, but in terms of socio-cultural moves, then that all was happening later on in the 60s. And I heard Dennis Hopper talking about Easy Rider and how that was the first film that really kind of reflected that socio-cultural revolution out of the studio system because no studio films, they weren't really acknowledging what was going on with that, you know? And Easy Rider was so affecting because it was the first kind of filmic representation of, you know, there's this, there's this kind of movement based on love going on. And there's a lot of people into it and involved. And, and here's, here's some of those characters in that film. Not Easy Rider, what am I talking about? Yeah, Easy Rider. Yeah, 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 Dennis Hopper, yeah. Sorry, in my head, I got mixed up with uh, James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, there for a minute. And we were out in this field, and it was a big circle. And I think the, Im- the, the shot is in the trailer where, I, where we all look up to the sky like this. But this was me going, look, instead of let us pray, let's, uh, let's go, let us all commune with the infinite. And then do this kind of... And it was quite... A powerful thing when we had 200 people in a circle all doing that together going <laughs> it felt like we were summoning extraterrestrials possibly that'd be a nice because there is the Raelians isn't there the Raelians are in Florida aren't they I think and they're run by a French dude called Nicholas Rail. they're basically a sex cult but they believe that all life on earth was seeded by extraterrestrials so I'd imagine they probably do rituals that are to do with summoning aliens to Earth all the time and cuddling. <laughs>